How to be a Canadian. Hi guys, how's it going? My name is Ozzy Tash. I have been getting so many suggestions from people saying, Tash, you need to watch How to be a Canadian. <laughs> I'm guessing it's some sort of funny series, CBS show or something. So I'm really looking forward to watching it. But before we do, please make sure to hit that subscribe button. That would really help me out. Okay, let's just get into it. Like I said, I'm really excited. How to be a Canadian. How to be a Canadian. Follow these steps and you too can be like us, eh? Step one, learn the different regions of Canada. Still working on the rigs? No, I got laid off. If you don't get to work, you're not coming to the burr, you greasy blue noser. <laughs> There's always next year. Dude, <laughs> I got the munchies. Can we get sushi? Hey, I gonna spill the mustard on my favorite shirt. <laughs> I'm guessing that, dude, I've got the munchies. Can we get sushi? <laughs> Maybe that it has something to do with the recreational laws of marijuana in Canada. I'm pretty sure it's legal over there everywhere. Unlike Australia, that's never going to happen. Pay tribute to our fallen soldiers by gently stabbing yourself with a poppy. Oh, sweet Timbits. Oh, great. You guys ate all the good ones again. Ah! Ah! Oh, you should really take off that poppy. This poppy? No, I can't take this poppy off. You see, our forefathers, they sacrificed their lives for the rights and for the freedoms that we enjoy to this day. The least I can do is wear this one little flower for... for... Remember the golden age of Canadian television. Yo, can I trade you ketchup for all dress? Sure. Country Canada. <laughs> Ketchup fries. I know that they're a thing in Canada. <laughs> Smarties. Apparently they were invented in Canada. I love Smarties. Ketchup fries or, or ketchup chips. Not quite too sure. They might be a little bit too gamey for me. <laughs> the North American house hippo is found throughout Canada and the eastern United States. How come I've never seen a house, house hippo? Hippos have you seen a house hippo? Creatures and they're rarely seen. Learn Canadian jargon. That house hippo ad. That's the one that everyone says, Tash, you've got to watch the house hippo ad. You've got to watch the house hippo ad. I have seen it. It's on some sort of children's awareness video campaign. Stay tuned. It's coming soon. Looney Tooney 2426 The States Giver Keener Hoser Butte Took Yukon Mickey Pop Toboggan Steg Hydro Homo Milk Double Double Carburetor A. Try your hardest to push the middle out of a toonie Ah, uh, she'll go. Give me a try, eh? Cool. Wait, isn't defacing money illegal? Yes! <laughs> Love you. Is this some sort of like CBS funny like television series or something? Leave a comment and let me know. All those things I just said, Hosa, Looney, Tooney. I'm guessing that's all Canadian slang. I have done a video on Canadian slang. I use gong show all the time at work. When things are going pear shaped, which is what we'd say instead of gong show, well, I just change it up and say, it's a gong show. Things have gone south. Things have gone real bad. Your Canadian celebrities. Oh, Justin, you're so dreamy. <laughs> Everything about you is so hot. Your hair, your tattoo, your powerful. <laughs> <laughs> That's your prime minister, isn't it? Um, apparently he's a bit of a dream boat, isn't he? <laughs> Of some famous Canadians. I thought she was talking about Justin. What's his name? Justin Bieber. He's Canadian, isn't he? Not my cup of tea. The Canadians I like, Will Arnett. I absolutely love Will Arnett, Martin Short, and William Shatner. Susie, come quick. The bare naked ladies and Gordon Lightfoot are on George Strumbleopolis. Wait a second, what are you doing? Uh, just doing my social studies. I'll come join you on the Chesterfield. 
not getting hold on. <laughs> yeah, look, Will Arnett, I love him. He's Canadian, that's cool. Just having a look at the pictures here. Hayden Christensen, he's Canadian, had no idea. As a Star Wars fan, absolutely love Hayden Christensen. He is one of my favourite actors of all time. Still having a look. I think that was Justin Bieber's mugshot there. <laughs> Dan Levy, he's funny. Ryan Gosling, um, still having a look at some of the pictures here. William Shatner, got to love him. Seth Rogen, is that Seth Rogen? Is he Canadian? Wow, had no idea. Look at some of these pictures again. I think that's that hockey player Wayne Gretzky. Um, Ryan Reynolds, oh, Joshua Jackson. I remember watching him from Dawson's Creek. He's Canadian as well. I had no idea. Best one, Will Arnett, there he is. He is a dreamboat. I love him. Just love him. Respect the Canadian legal system. Hey there, fellas. Oh, shoot, it's the RCMP. That graffiti there is in direct violation of Section 22B of the Official Languages Act. English and French, please. Merci! <laughs> Recognize that whether you love or hate hockey, you'll probably get drunk because of it. And that's why I'm wearing green in this beautiful hat. Oh, they're talking about John's clothing. Drink. Two winter kids. When you drink. See a guy, I'll <laughs> we gotta go quick. We got a minute 45. Oh, they're running out of time. Drink. It's a gimmick. It's the same thing as. Oh, yeah. He's, he's doing the, the, the piano thing. Drink. That's two. That's two. It's <laughs> two. When you don't want a dog to uh, kill chickens to hang a chicken around its neck, you'll never touch it again. Everyone Good. finish your Mickeys. <laughs> what? I thought we were drinking two sixes. Learn the Canadian version of American things. MTV, Much Music, 90210, Degrassi. <laughs> Degrassi. I remember watching Degrassi back when I was like 10, 11, 12. Is that a Canadian series? No way. Please, someone leave a comment and let me know. Was Degrassi High a Canadian series? I can't believe that. Oh my god. 90210? That's the newer version. There was no Brandon, no Brenda Wash in that one. No thanks. See Macy's, The Bay, Target, Zellers, NFL, CFL, Hanson's, The Moffat, Subway, Mr. Sub, Bacon, Canadian Bacon, Kanye, Drake, Mr. Rogers, Mr. Dress Up, New York, Toronto, George Bush, Stephen Harper, Donald Trump, and Kevin O'Leary. Take advantage of free health care. Hey, did you hear they made O Canada gender neutral? <laughs> what, you mean like chicks can sing it now? Canadian. <laughs> I'm so glad people suggested this. I don't know whether to laugh or cry. This is absolutely hilarious. How's she look, boys? Get on and give her, bud. <laughs> so it looks like you're already covered for your cast, your CT scan, and the new titanium leg. The only remaining balance is $17.38 for the crutches. 17 bucks? Sorry, but I'll be speaking to my local MP about this. Understand the <laughs> metric system half of the time. Welcome back to Who Wants to Win a Million, eh? Are you ready for your <laughs> final question? Yeah, let's give her. For one million Canadian dollars, how much do you weigh in kilograms? Is it a, 40, B, 80, C... So it's my understanding that in Canada, you use the metric and the imperial system. So you use a bit of both. <laughs> so that's, is that what this spray is about? In Australia, obviously we use kilograms, not pounds. 65 D 200. Oh, I don't know. I don't know kilograms. Now remember, <laughs> you can earn a bonus lifeline by listening to one Nickelback song in its entirety. <laughs> <laughs> Nickelback. Leave a comment. Are you a Nickelback fan? Are you proud that Nickelback are Canadian band? I know there's the whole stigma around the world hating Nickelback. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know in Canada there's that thing with the radio where 30% of music played every day has to be from Canadian bands. That's a lot of Nickelback, I tell you. I don't have a problem with Nickelback. I remember listening to them back in the day. Never seen them live. If I'm thinking about Canadian musicians and bands that I'd like to listen to, Alana Samara said, 
absolutely loved Alanis Morissette back in the day. She was cool. Bare Naked Ladies. I've just discovered just from this that they're Canadian. I love Bare Naked Ladies. They are an awesome band. Nickelback, like I said, I'll listen, I'll sing along to them when they come on the radio. Look at this photograph. This is how you remind me, yada, yada, yada. But yeah, <laughs> I love how they're making fun of Nickelback in this. <laughs> I think I'm in a walk. Never accept substitute. <laughs> Nickelback song for a lifeline. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> it's for real maple syrup. Whoa, you're not going to use that crap, are you? Yeah, it tastes nothing like the real thing. Whatever, it's all the same. Mr. Russell, that's the third time this month. I'm gonna have to write you up for contraband. <laughs> Can't you just give me a warning? Sorry. 20 hours of community curling? No. <laughs> it's like my whole weekend. <laughs> and finally, know the difference between a good and a bad Putin. Little boy, what seems to be the matter? My Putin. Your Putin? What's wrong with your Putin? The gravy wasn't hot enough to know my cheese curds. Oh my God. I swear on the ghost of John A. McDonald that we are gonna find out who did this to you and when we do, we are going to file a formal complaint. <laughs> what did we miss? Leave a comment in the comment section below, eh? <laughs> oh my gosh, I, <laughs> I love that. But he is right, that's a crime, isn't it? You've gotta have heaps of gravy on your chips. I'm guessing poutine. It's what is it? A layer of chips and then cheese and then gravy. Let me know if that's the right order. If it is, I'm definitely going to make it. How to be Canadian. I'd like to thank everyone for suggesting that I watch this. I absolutely loved it. I think there's some more, so stay tuned. We'll watch some more. That was the video for today. <laughs> I really, really enjoyed it. Got a great laugh from it. Hope you did. If you did, smash the like button, leave a comment. And please remember to subscribe. That would help me out. Cheers from down under. Take care. Bye.